International Journal of Health Policy and Management. Quality and speed are our culture and the keys to our success. Welcome to the audio summary section of the International Journal of Health Policy and Management. Good morning, colleagues. My name is Thu, and I'm a lecturer of Hanoi Medical University in Vietnam. Today, it's my pleasure to talk about the article recently published on the International Journal of Health Policy and Management. The title is Three Nurses on Our Head, the Influence of District Health Reform on Maternal and Health Services Delivery in Vietnam. This is a qualitative study in which 43 semi-structured interviews were conducted with health staff and managers involved in the provision of maternal and health services from the commuter central levels within five rural districts of Vietnam. This study aims to answer two questions. First, how district health reform have influenced the organization of maternal and health services? And second, could governance mechanism be strengthened to improve organization of maternal and health services delivery? These figures describe the changes in functions and responsibilities of district health units after the district health reform in 2004. This research provides a more insightful understanding of how fragmentation in health system occur when reforms to district level governance saw a move from an integrated model to a model where functions were disaggregated. Aspect of human resource management, the analysis identified two key issues, the exacerbation of workforce shortages and lack of management skills. The separation of functions at the district health level unintentionally appears to have weakened the internal capacity of the district health system as it requires many more of the better clinical qualified and competent health workers to assume management roles. Second, there was a lack of clarity of responsibilities of district entities that all three entities had a role in supervision of community health centers, but the parameters of their responsibility were unclear, resulting in inconsistencies and ineffective supervision. Third, it suggests that the current district health system is overly complex with multiple and overlapping lines of management and accountability. This has caused ineffective collaboration among district health units, made it difficult to them in assigning task for and managing performance of community health workers, and also influence the operation of community health centre. This study has shown that why some suggested that there were gains associated with the separation of functions. The changes have also resulted in a range of dysfunctionalities that negatively impact on the effective governance of districts and community level health services. This is illustrated in these figures. In terms of implication, this research indicates some of the problems from the governance perspective when services at the district level are not integrated. This suggests that strategies should prioritize on strengthening the district health organization towards being more responsive to the local health needs. If the separation of curative and preventive functions is considered to be desirable, attention needs to be put in into instituting mechanisms that ensure clear responsibility and effective coordination. Mechanism of coordination should be put in place to ensure that such coordination occurs so as to maximize health outcomes and to assure efficiencies both in terms of operations and costs and to lessen confusion and uncertainty. So that is the end of my presentation. Thank you very much for your watching and I'm looking forward to receiving your comments.